what we've got here is a crashed and a deliberately crashed FG controller. I made this one crash. See the orange light there on? on? You will soon see the Ethernet green and yellow light come on from the Ethernet port on the bottom right hand corner. And basically what it is is the Linux just restarting um, over and over again. You see that? So that's not going to run. There are two ways to recover it. If you already have backups of everything, what you can do is just put it back into a factory default station. And that is very, very simple to do. So you can see the Ethernet lights come on and off, and it kind of fools you that it's working. But it clearly is not when that happens. So what you do is go to the reset button, click that once, and then hold down the service button for at least 10 seconds. And kind of behind my finger there, near the relays, about relay number three and four, you will see a red light start flashing. And that signals that we are now going into a default reprogramming mode. And you see the red light there? It's quite clear. All you do now is just reset the controller. And that will go back to normal. But please be warned, it will reset the IP address to 192.168.10.11. Now, if you have not backed everything up there, what you can do is go to this um, jumper here. It's, um, it kind of locks the program in place. If I remove that, the controller will reboot normally. Now it's two pins, got one, two, three, so it's two and three, three being the one to the left hand side of the board near those capacitors. Okay, and all we do, you'll see the Ethernet lights now are staying on, so we could now access the controller through the FTP. It doesn't mean it's running, it just means you can access the controller through the FTP and recover your files and also um, overwrite the controllers. They, they're located um, in the MNT folder as a Sedona folder there. Be careful though, you can only overwrite the app file and the kits file. Some of the calibration files for the universal inputs are also in there. And it's very important you don't delete those. So I hope that helps you. When I put this back, um, had I changed those two files, it would have gone back normally. And just got to get that on those two pins. There you go. So that's all for now.